Hello, I'm Mark, and I want to find the most capable survivor in Minecraft. Now, we can find this out through countless of ways, such as a Minecraft Hunger Game session, Minecraft Sky Wars, or hell, even just being able to maintain a Minecraft hardcore no! But I want to do something a little different. I want to find Mark Live Nation's most skilled vanilla Minecraft player. And the only way to do that is by playing a game. A $100 contest where you have one night to build, scavenge, and create your own resources to try and survive the rest of the game against your opponents. One night of immunity, the rest in open PvP. The winner will be awarded a $100 cash prize as well as a Minecraft GOAT status in the Discord server. As well as, um, well, bragging rights. Join us on May 18th at 3 p.m. for my most exciting event yet. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be a great chance to give back to this community for everything that you guys have given me. So let's just have some fun, and let's fucking kill each other. Part 28. On May 15th, Chris recorded a video what? discussing the recent murder of the University of Virginia lacrosse player, Yardley Love. I understand recently that there was a girl who was uh, murdered at UVA by her ex-boyfriend. She was on the lacrosse team. It was very sad. Poor, poor woman, he just kicked the door in and banged her head against the wall, totally ruined her right side and right side of her head. She died from that. I am very interested to hear Chris's take on this, whether or not there is even a take her. to happen. And yeah, it was not an accident. It, as, as so that the uh, dude claims to say as it was. She get like 20 years in jail. Oh, just 20? Oh, okay. That's what he deserves from that. Real, I guess. He deserves jail time and hard time. Banging rocks, making license plates. So he can repay debt to society for the shock from this girl's murder. So, canonically, Chris believes murderers should serve 20 years in prison for killing someone, which is kind of ridiculous. So. And also, yeah, autism, I already no mention about that from my point of view. Apparently, uh, not not just uh, the fact that we are unable to, so unable to socialize, but at least from my point of view, uh, in a crowded, in a crowded event or section, very crowded, where it's not easy for me to get much attention. I I just I just likely tend to freeze up vocally. What's the why is he making this uh this video about himself now? <laughs> he's just like me for real, but he's like supposed he's he's supposed to be like talking about like the murder of this woman, and now he's just talking about his autism. <laughs> like I don't I don't see what the the transition is, what the segue is. I am not a bad man. I am not, have no intention of anything negative of that sort. I'm just, I'm just damn shy from the autism, freezing me up. And I am working on that. This is a huge red flag. I don't I understand. Just need, I just need help from, I, I just need help from my, from my real friends, real people. Because I can't just expect women to fall into my lap like that i did did i miss something i i'm i'm, I'm so confused because he's i thought this video was supposed to be talking about this the, the the murder of this person and now he's talking about himself and how he can't socialize like there was no segue in between he just started talking about himself i don't know if i missed anything in between the or just five minutes into this is he like trying to like say like I would never murder an ex an ex girlfriend or so? What is he trying to say? Yeah, he went from talking about this girl, making it about himself, and he's supposed to be off the internet. Remember? Yeah, but he came back like in like thirty six hours. Like he was only off for thirty six hours, and he came back and made like a little game review. I think notably wearing his new trucker style outfit. I just uh, started up this uh, video to uh, give y'all a little update by myself. <coughs> You know, I'm doing well, so is my mom. And for your information, my father is alive yeah, and well, so... Yeah, he writes about Family Guy after 38 that hours. That rumor <laughs> is false. The Cleveland show. My father is alive and well. Let's talk about famous comedy people. Uh, Y'all know I like... Uh, I, li I like, from class in the classics, uh, Lucia Ball. 
I know things. Let me find me a Benjamin girl. Are you tired of down this, this? Do you put that party? Are you unpopular? Yes, so all your problems is this little bottle. Find me a Benjamin. And I also very like, talented. I also like Jerry Seinfeld. He's oh, yeah. he's very funny. I watch a show every I watch a show every day on TBS. Based Chris on this. You one. know I would, I would you know impression. I would definitely like to see this. You know, even as a video response from Jerry himself, his uh, view on autist on autistic people, especially the high functioning autistics like myself. You know, and also think about this. I probably sound like Jerry Seinfeld. I'd probably sound like Jerry Seinfeld. You know. This could be a comedy routine for himself, you know, that he could do for autistics. Uh, yeah, so uh, I just recently been introduced to this uh, autistic uh, boy, aut this uh, autistic uh, teenage boy here, and uh, and we and you know, I was introduced, so he opened up to me right away, and then I, and then later at like uh, and then later at this picnic, this community picnic, he. Uh, I see him. I see him over there, and uh, he wants to find. He wants to meet himself a lady, so he's hanging out over there. And I don't see him talking to the lady. She's just, uh, he's just uh, smiling and uh, being silent. I mean, he ain't gonna go anywhere unless he talks to. He does talk to ladies, but then again, that's part of the autism right Teacher there. Teacher Mark, what is he talking about? Chris is t is trying to 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 make a, a stand-up bit for Jerry Seinfeld currently, I believe. He just uh, tends to blank out when he's not introduced to the people. Welcome to the stream, Because he's scared of the uh, unknown. Hope everyone's having a good night. Hell yeah. Yeah, I would, anyway, I would definitely like to hear uh, Jerry Seinfeld's uh, opinions and views. What was the punchline? Oh, hey, you know, another do I like? Qu Larry the quote-unquote cable guy. Get her done! Bro is major. On May 26th. The Wikipedia was hacked by Mao and once again opened to edits from the public, vandalizing it and republishing the false troll created Sonichu issue 11. Christian, feeling defeated, filmed a video the following day oh, stating that he did not want to deal with the website anymore. Look, all you people there who are, all you people who mock me and torment me, you trolls, I'm sick and tired of having to deal with you. You do not need to be getting it, hacking into my crap and stuff. You do not need to be doing that. And you should never do that. I would never even do that. Uh, I don't believe that. I am working on myself in real life. I am not lazy. I am no I am not so much a man child as I was before. And I am act and I am active within my community. <laughs> Maybe if you can make it so easy for, for people to hack into him to so talk, much to hang out real. with and talk to. Especially the women. <laughs> I do not need to repeat myself. I am straight. He says as he repeats himself I for love like women. the four hundredth time already. And I am not going to be on the internet much because I have been turned off of the internet because of what because of the damn tr because of you damn trolls. It's it's he just does not see the irony and the hypocrisy of everything. He makes it so easy to want to make fun of him as wrong and as much as i don't want to say that he makes it easy to just want to make fun of him to be like bro you're you are like you've been on the internet like you haven't been off the internet it's like you've been consistently posting it's crazy you glue yourselves Bistress. to your computers every last one of you and y'all are becoming autistic like stuck within your computers nobody not not too many people are socializing in real life anymore they're just glued to their computers and that is not a world that we do not need to live in. Technology is, suppo is supposedly Bro, hit us with the double supposed negative. to That's improve great. our lives, make things easier for us. I'll tell you one thing that it is not making easier. Being sociable in real life. You need to glue, you need to get yourselves away from your computers and your sheltered lives and go out and socialize in real life. Wow, guys, Chris is so brave. Go find your own sweethearts, or if you already found them, go t go talk to them and and hang out with them and everything. I do not need to have to update myself on the internet. Oh my God, he says as he updates my himself on the internet. My good name is my own good name. Just watch, he's gonna make another video and like the next day. And nothing on the day. internet will change that for fact. Everything on the internet may as well be considered false. Okay.
If you really want to know the truth, you have to seem you have to talk to me in person, in real life. Because I am not going to be pushed around anymore by anybody on the internet. I'm autistic myself and he gives and he gives people like me a bad name. Also telling us to go out and socialize is a bunch of irony itself. Real. You can have good social social interactions on freaking on the internet. I mean, you can see it right now. Like we're we're having a good like we're having a good chat talking about this right now. And this is like this is pretty healthy, I'd consider. It's his experiences that he's basing everything off of. His experiences of getting trolled on the internet. It's ridiculous. It's basically trauma, I'd say. Like a form of trauma. Or, I don't know. I don't know if this is the correct take to have on it. Because, like, his experiences with the internet have basically all been negative. And so he's trying to denounce it. Don't show Jamie. I admit Chris Chan Mark, he's going to get traumatized. Nah, he's fine. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's really sad. Like the more you think about it, you know, the only like two people in his life that he socialized with like every day, like in person was Barb and Bob. Everyone else was like internet interactions or like speaking to people in the internet and then meeting them in real life, I guess. And them just being trolls, like really. Chris is what we call terminally online because online is all Chris and most people's lives. Real. On June 4th, Christian attended Fridays After Five, an outdoor concert event held in Charlottesville from spring until fall. During the show, he got drunk and then drove to the game place in order to take a picture of the owner, Michael Snyder, so that he could use the printout as a dartboard and shoot at his face. He arrived at the game and hobby store and quickly confronted Snyder, who was soon accompanied by two police officers who came from the nearby shopping center. Chris tried to drive away, but was chased down by Michael, who nearly got hit by his car forcing Chris oh to stop. Snyder provided a brief account of the event in the form of a YouTube comment. Christian is in my parking lot right now being grilled by the police. He took pictures of my daughter and tried to run me over with his car. They witnessed this, and I bet they still do nothing about it. The police listened to his side of the story, made him delete any photos he had taken off his camera, and as Snyder had predicted, was allowed to return home with a warning. Christian decided not to tell his parents about this incident. Two days later, he posted a YouTube video telling his side of the story. At this uh, moment, oh, boy, I uh, have an understanding great. that there are misconceptions and rumors being spread about me, which uh, I would like to state very right off that rumors, very rumors about anybody, especially to make them look terrible, is just not cool. But anyway, yeah. Uh, first off, I would like to state I do <laughs> Some, not I'm quote a victim unquote, first time. <laughs> my cats. I, I, the only parts that touch on them are their back and their heads. Nothing more. Okay. So, it was after Fridays after 5, I went over to a bar and I had a bud. A bottle of bud. And, I, and then I played some solitaire on my DS while, while, I, waited to the, uh, while I waited to the hour. But then about, but about three quarters of an hour through, because I had a camera in my possession right then, I had the impulse of, "Hey, I'll go over there. I'll go over to the place and take a picture of Michael Snyder, so that I can print it out later and use it as a dartboard." Which isn't good, so by I way, go over to the way. To like admit to of the place in front of Staples. Wait, so Chris was drinking and, and driving? Then I made yeah. Way. Yeah. He 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 literally he was literally admitting to drinking and driving, but nothing will happen to him. Nothing has happened to him yet. So, that's cool. I was not alone there in front of the uh, window. There was another dude who was apparently on his side and recognized me. He wanted to start a fight, but in a fight, in a fight or flee, I decided to flee. So I went to my car, and then we ran in and got Michael. And then Michael jumped in front of my car. He jumped in front of my car. He, in my fact, he jumped up to the top of my hood. He was looming over my windshield. It was horrifying, so I backed my car up. I backed my car up, and I and I backed it up to my to my right. And I see that there was like a couple of police cars in front of me, so that was like the wrong way to go. I should have backed up the other way. But anyway, so to go around them, <laughs> he was fleeing the scene. Okay. I went to another aisle, and I drove through that. 
Chris is lying. I, I, and yes. Then, then I, then <laughs> I'm I, aware. I'm to make left turn bad, bad, bad move right there. Because okay, he jumped in front of my car again, risking his own life. I could have been going top speed. He was lucky he didn't get hurt as far as I know. But I did not run him over. Jumped in front of my car, so I back up. And then I try going around. And then this, and then this woman, I don't know who, I do not know who the blank she is. She jumps in front of my car, is. so I stop again. And then I start backing up, and then I get stuck from behind, and then I'm trapped. Chris should not be the, driving real. Between police and Michael and whoever the hell this woman was. So then I sort out with the police. Uh, they delete. They delete the pictures. And uh, and the woman. And then the woman. Literally any other person that gets into this situation, they are arrested. They are charged. I don't know why the, the GTA Wasted theme starts playing. Not chill. I don't know why he just wasn't brought. Just, and I, I'm pretty sure this is just feeding into his into his like victim complex, I guess, of him feeling like like, no, nothing can happen to me or like him thinking like, no, everything will be fine. Like the same complex that was that was that uh, that he had grown on him like by his parents. Like he's so he very well understands that he, what he's what he did was wrong. He was trying to literally run away from the police. He was trying to flee from the police. Flee from Michael, flee from flee from everyone, but then he got cornered, and they were like, "Oh, okay. Uh, here's a warning. Uh, leave." Like, really, really. The woman came to me right up front and accused me of things like, you know, see, see naked pictures on me on the internet, and they accused me of child pornography. I am not a pornographer of any sort, and any naked pictures of me on the internet were either tricked from me by the trolls where they deceived me or I was blackmailed and there were a number of blackmailings as they, as they have ratted themselves out on the quit on their websites such as the quickie or even the encyclopedia Jamaica webpage anyway yeah, the, uh, the term pornographer is funny <laughs> and also uh, Michael just basically loomed into me and he said he just basically shot it from me you're dead you're dead! The point is, the only pictures I was taking were of Michael Snyder. Nobody else. No children. I want to make that very clear. Cool, Chris. We get it. You are not a and child also, pornographer. And also, the trolls are the villains. Because they spread, because they troll me. They make up the crap. They exaggerate or twist around my truth. I want to go back to a normal life. You can delete and the internet. One way I can do Stop that using to it. help go back to do that is to quell the bad reputation. So again, I encourage everybody who looks me up on the internet. <laughs> the trolls didn't tell him to go to the game place and take a picture of Snyder. Real, real. Chris indeed made great efforts to remove himself from the internet. Nevertheless, even though he stopped making YouTube videos, he began using wow. an application for the handheld console, Nintendo DSi, called Flipnote Studio, which allowed users to create text-based or image-based drawings and frame-by-frame -frame animations by using a stylus. Users could share, comment on, and rate their creations via the online partner application, oh my Flipnote God, that's Latina. Crazy. His first Flipnote was a picture of Sonichu. His account was quickly discovered by trolls and shared yeah. on the wiki. On June 18th, Chris made another appearance at Fridays After 5, which seemingly had become a regular hangout of his. YouTube user Zero Archie Bunker Zero, who was aware of Christian, happened to also be there and took photos and videos of him. During the event, he wore his now signature denim vest, along with a red hey, t-shirt, we'll which Peko. apparently read, I enjoy vagina. He was documented dancing during a rock band performance surrounded by children oh and some of their accompanying guardians. Bro is just casually dancing with kids. That's he great. would also take frequent breaks and sit down, playing with his Nintendo DSi, likely commenting on other users' flip notes or drawing his own. Based. At a later point, he pulled back his t-shirt to reveal oh his God. bare abdomen and sports bra, on which I want, want woman. woman was written in permanent <laughs> <Want> marker. <woman. laughs> this seemed to have been a simplified reimagining of his attraction sign from nearly a decade prior. Oh my God! During the second half of June, Christian signs written so, in <laughs> So it's like a... 
It's supposed to be an attraction sign so that people will be like, oh, want woman. So that women can go up to him and be like, oh, he want woman. I will go be woman for him. <laughs> like During the second half of June, Christian created near daily flip notes, supplanting YouTube with Flipnote Hatina as his creative outlet. So what, can Chris like not go a day without like updating people on his life? Chris was made to be a content creator, guys. Like, I, I gotta say it, but like, you gotta respect that grind. Chris was made to be, I, I actually got off of watching a, a YouTube video on like how Snapchat works. How like people, how like in order for like Snapchat to be like financially viable for like content creators, they have to take like a hundred pictures every day. But y'all know David Dobrik, how he got canceled on like YouTube. Well, like he's on Snapchat now. And that's what he uses and he like that's that he's like a content creator over there now chris would have gone crazy on snapchat his first animation ultimate nightmare was a simple two frame effort of a stick figure walking at a rate of an eighth of a millimeter per hour as per the description the video was also accompanied by sustained high pitch synth whine On June 22nd, Chris watched a flipnote animation created by user 8-Bit about not engaging with trolls. 8-Bit had made the animation available to be downloaded and edited by other users, such as Chris, who re-uploaded a remixed version of the animation with some of his own alterations. For example, he changed overlaid text to say encouraging words about having a safe, happy life offline and not starting any relationships over the internet. In addition, the short clip of Sonic was replaced with Sonichu. Cushion credited 8-bit both in the description and in the final two cards. Two days later, he uploaded an original animation My childhood called is now the bow on your head. Because of Chris, unfortunate. <laughs> ah, you have a hippo on your head. Yeah. Oh my God, that's Chris. Well, don't just stand there while I let her on me. Dear sir, hello. Sign Buck Williams. Low keys, like low key, the animations are. All right. I'm sorry. What a take. But Loki, the, the the animations are actually pretty okay. Like compared to like in the comics, how the comics look, like this animation is actually like pretty funny. Well, don't you stand nice there while I later on me. Like especially like this this part. Dear sir. Hello. Yeah, the flip notes are actually Sign charming, Buck dude. Williams. He also created many sock puppet accounts so that he could give himself high ratings and head. views. Yeah. On June 25th. Chris uploaded a two-part oh animation boy. called Random Humor 1, which was largely copied from an episode of the cartoon series The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show. Some numbers can't be trusted. These are threes. Did you know that you can never trust threes? See? Threes turn sideways and pretend that they're M's or N's. And sometimes they turn themselves around to make you think that they're E's. Weird, huh? And sometimes they'll even lie on their backs and pretend they're W's. Come back. I'll show you some sixes. We like to pretend their noses. <laughs> I'm practicing my eeks. Eeks. Eeks are very important if you're writing a story about a sexy, beautiful woman in Barrow. So there's a sexy, beautiful woman living in her apartment. She was hanging in her room one day, when suddenly a mouse came in. Eeks, she cried. If you want to write a good story about a sexy, beautiful woman in Barrow, you would have to be able to write a good eek. An ock probably would have killed me. Hey dude, where's your sister? Where is right? I'm practicing my whys. Why? I take it no, back, this why? one is just confusing. <laughs> On June 27th, Christian uploaded a series of factual statements about himself, following a popular flipnote Hatina trend at the time. These included, I am an honest, good, and decent man. I am a fun, loyal, sociable, and cool friend, and I enjoy making women feel good. The video was soon removed due to the numerous inclusions of his real name, which was against Flipnote Hatina's guidelines. The next day, he joined in on a trend where a Flipnote Hatina user created a plain basis of two characters and tagged other users so they had to download the Flipnote and add their own personal touches to the image, completing it. They would in turn tag other users so they could contribute their own version of the sketch, and so on. 
Even though Chris, Chris wasn't tagged, he delivered his own take on the <laughs> image anyway, morphing the anime-style characters into Sonichu and Rose Chu. Yep. <laughs> he then tagged 21 accounts who had left comments on his previous posts, many of whom possessed trollsome flipnote IDs, such as Ghost of Bob Chandler, Asperger's Syndrome, and My Duck is Bent. However, <laughs> Christian locked the animation, meaning that no one could actually contribute to it and continue the chain. Damn. All the art is actually 29th, kind of nice. Exactly, Chris dude. His tenth contribution to it's like so much better than his comics. I don't, un I don't understand. Is it is the stylus like just crazy? <laughs> an animated recreation of an erotic dream of his, in which he and a woman are floating in a labyrinth filled with water. When they see each other, the stick figure representing Chris gets an erection. They instantly fall in love and move in closer for a kiss. Chris then wakes up, wishing to know that woman in real life. He then expels something from the lower half of his body, but given the limiting color palette and lack of detail, it is uncertain as to what it was meant to represent. Christian asked for the viewers to give it high ratings so that he could later upload the uncensored version. Bruh. Since the explicitness of this animation was against the rules of the program, yeah. it was removed in minutes, though watchful trolls managed to download a copy of it in time. Not long after, Chris hastily drew more clothing onto his characters and uploaded it again. This too was quickly taken down. He then made another version, which was the second iteration, but prefixed with a string of written statements. I want to note the romantic labyrinth flip note is not inappropriate. The people are clothed. There is no violence. There is no flashing. I will not be deleted from trolls who falsely report my romantic fantasy and my straightness as a violation. Just so those dang idiots can get away portraying me as a homosexual, which That's is not wrong. it. It's just Admins wrong. Of FN it Hedina, is who see my complaint this here. Is for children. All this is for children. This is posted this anywhere is a, on FNH. This is it a is game on the, on the Nintendo DS. One, only to have them create new accounts, only to continue trolling me like they've done so far. And please allow me to keep my account on FNH and allow my romantic labyrinth to stay as my own flipnote on the Hatina in the name of my right to speak of myself for yes, myself and not be described by false rumors fabricated by the trolling stupid people. Thank you. Peace. Christian Weston Chandler. Chris, you are so dumb. You are so dumb. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, wow. I'm just, I'm just in shock now. The next day, Christian made an animation in the style oh, of Anaglyph great. 3D inspired by another user's flipnote, on which he commented, Gayness. In this video, he impersonates four cartoon characters. Autobots, transform and roll out. I don't need web, I'm a bomb of meat. Stop in the name of the law. Sorry about that, sis. I eat oh, spinach every day. And now for something completely different. It's... Multi Pythons, flying elephant. He also made a video tagging supposed female users. So there's something so funny about like, <laughs> look like Chris's microphone just being so, like, um, oh, uh, Multi Pythons, I'm sorry, elephant. <laughs> there's something really funny about like the shitty mic of like the Nintendo like DS on the site, asking for ratings and if they it thought being he cute based on the low quality black and white photo provided, which was converted to be usable on Flipnote Studio. In addition to the Flipnote Hatina users, Christian tagged two past women in his life by their online usernames, The Wallflower and Jackie. That is this animation was also soon forcibly removed. Brother, move on. The recent Flipnote that mentioned Jackie Romy encouraged the troll behind that persona to re-engage in email communications with Christian, at first angry with him for mentioning her, but after his reply, she calmed down and revealed that she sometimes thought of him and formally resumed chatting oh with him. Oh boy. On July 2nd, Chris re-uploaded most of his previously deleted flip notes, including his sexually explicit romantic labyrinth. After these numerous violations, his account and Nintendo DSi were banned. Based. The next day, Christian, under the guise of his own troll persona, Jenkins Jinkies, created an article on the quickie called Coffee Place, which only vaguely referenced Bob and Chris Chandler, and mostly concerned Jinkies' opinions about a certain employee at a certain fast food establishment, with Chris writing in what he believed to be troll speech. Within this single fast food joint of the small town of Rutgersville, Virginia, Bobby goes for a morning coffee and breakfast most days of the week. Sadly though, on some of those days, along with other Sanor citizens who have been going there for years for their own early bird specials, they get harassed by one or two of the snot-nosed, snooty employees. One of which, Amanda, is one of the part-time managers who gives her elders the coldest of shoulders. 
Amanda also really opens up for the black people. She would be most friendly to any of the black people. Uncle Ruckus would really kick the shit out of this bitch for not treating us yes, white people with good kindness and like respect. This. All of the Stainors who loyally come in for their daily morning bread would just itch for the chance to smack her ass and crack her china in due respect to the harassment she has butthurt unto them. Not much else is known about Amanda at the moment, but the Sainors have heard that she is a mother of two, probably getting a daily budget. I feel like it's so obvious night. that that's Chris. She Mason, also seems I mean, to be still married. I feel so everyone like knows that it's Chris. They're just letting it happen just to document it and like make fun of it. I guess basically, as someone with Asperger's, the fact that Chris calls himself high functioning when he shits himself and lives in a. Okay, you know what? You're kind of right. <laughs> you're kind of right i mean i still believe he's high functioning because he understands i feel like it's it's the fact that he like he grew up and with no one telling him to like quit his shit like no like nobody told him like like it's 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 not normal to live in a fantasy world or no one told him like like his parents like just kept feeding him like saying that like sonichu will will be the shit sonichu will do it he does understand but he doesn't want to grow up yeah so i do believe he is high functioning he's He's high functioning. He's just mentally ill, I guess. <laughs> like, what you can be autistic and not be mentally ill. You can be, but in this case, he is autistic and very much mentally ill. 